Hey guys, this is Pastor G. This is Refuel with the Share Group. God bless you today. Thank all of you for viewing and thank you for sharing all of the Refuel messages. This is a ministry God gave us back in 2010. And I'm grateful for all of my friends and all of my friends' friends and every pastor that have actually taken these. Man, please take it and use it in however manner that it will bless your people, bless those around you, bless your family. Listen, this is a special review today because I want you to make sure that you not only share it, but take the notion and take the idea that God gave me and use it to your best ability to be able to push out the ministry of God. But check this today. This is to encourage everybody. This is to encourage every person. This is to encourage the saved and the unsaved today. And this is coming straight from Pastor G. This is coming from my heart because I have a heart for the people. Whether you've been in Christ, left Christ, you've moved away from Christ, still in Christ, struggling in Christ. Here's the encouraging word that I want to give you today. You're suffering with a whole lot of things, a whole lot of issues, mental, psychological, emotional, physical. You're dealing with the pains of your past, your present. You're still holding on to the hurt. I want you to check this here. When you look at the book of Numbers, chapter 20, and the book of Numbers is all about the numbering of the people of God and the people coming back to God and the sense is being taken before they go into Israel. And I want you to understand something today as I come into this review. Now listen, for those that are faint of heart, I want you to look at the text. The original version simply says that God told Balaam and the ass spoke to Balaam and asked him, why are you beating me these three times? Here's the review topic today. I want you to catch this and I want you to catch it real good because some of you are still doing this now because you're worried about family members, you're worried about family hurt, you're worried about how brothers and sisters, you're worried about how your mother, how your father, how somebody that you have been close to, that you open yourself up to, that you expose yourself, that you became intimate to, why they keep doing the things that they're doing. And in spite of your prayer, in spite of your pressing forward, in spite of you trying to go through certain doors, you're trying to figure out why you haven't got that job. You're trying to figure out why you haven't got certain things in your ministry. Let me help you today. This is something that God brought to me. One of our ministers shared with me something that they heard on Sunday, and it brought back to mind something that God gave me. So check this here. Here's the review topic today, and this is going to shock everybody and those that are faint heart, all I hear God simply saying, as Balaam heard from the donkey, as some of the texts read, or the mule, but it simply says in the King James Version, in the original version, to use this word, he said, why you keep beating, why you keep hitting me, the ass talked to him, so here's the word for refuel today, stop beating the ass, here's the word, every time the door closed, God allowed the door closed for a reason, when the door closed, it closed because God was protecting you, God was saving you, God was trying to make sure that you didn't engage, that you didn't enter, that you didn't become a part of, you didn't become a partaker, you didn't receive attachments that should not have come, so here today, if you're trying to figure out why you can't engage back in that relationship, why your people still don't want to be bothered, why it seemed like you can't establish that relationship with your mother, your father, you're trying to figure out why you didn't put application in after application and you're still on the same job that you own. Before you can leave the place you are, you have to recognize that God had placed an angel. The day that you came in this world, he placed a divine angel to watch over and protect you. And there's some areas that the angel will stop the mule that you're riding, stop the ass that you're riding, stop the transportation that you own to keep you from getting killed, to keep you from being destroyed. So here today, the emotional distraught that you are facing, the physical opposition that you find yourself against, the financial burden you see yourself in. If the mule has sat down, stop beating it. Stop whipping it.